Hey guys, Drewski here, and today we're checking out the Marianas map. Uh, this is a pretty small map in terms of terrain uh, for DCS relative to the other maps. There's maps that have dropped Syria, the Persian Gulf, and the whole Caucasus Mountains of the Georgian and uh, Russian border. Uh, but this map is interesting because this one's free. You can jump in and you can fly a Frogfoot or a P51 Mustang around these islands and uh, it's absolutely free, which is pretty cool, so you don't have to pay a single dime. And I wanted to check it out today because the technology that's that's in this game, in this, I, I don't even know what to call it a game, that's in this sim is absolutely insane. I mean, if the graphics don't impress you now, you will be impressed in a few seconds when we get down to the bottom of that. So a few years ago, DCS dropped a lighting update, which updated a lot of the I guess rays and lighting in the game uh, and just a few months ago they dropped the cloud update which <laughs> put in these volumetric clouds will fly into this one and then fly below it volumetric clouds they look beautiful it's awesome flying through like rainstorm clouds and stuff and uh, there's even another cloud layer below us right now and I'm pretty sure we're playing on ultra graphics uh, with most of the settings turned up my RTX 2080 Ti is struggling right now uh, to get eh, 35 FPS maybe um, but the crazy part is is that you know a lot of flight sims they have pretty looking landscapes up high but let's go low and see how much detail is down low go through this little cloud here I'm turn back in actually and you can see that every single building <laughs> is modeled now Microsoft flight sim also has this sort of technology where every single building is modeled, but this is a little different because there's a lot more than just the buildings and it's actually like handcrafted models too. We'll pause right here and we can observe all of the vehicles, the trash, the pallets laying around, the barrels, the connexes, the, f the garages and industrial buildings. It is crazy just how much detail is in this map. And, and the, the the crazy part is is that this is within a combat sim as well. So you're not just flying Microsoft Flight Sim. There's fully simulated, you know, a, a full cockpit here. Um, plus, I'm actually spouting out radar, and I can lock on to enemy fighter jets and shoot them down. And there's all the different uh, technicalities of radar and bombing and laser guided and all that sort of stuff works in this game. And it can also run this insane landscape. I mean, look at this. Look how good that looks. If you got an iPhone and you recorded my monitor right now and sent it to me and said, "Hi, I'm an F-18 pilot. This is, uh, you know, this is this is what I do every day," I would believe you. I would think that this is real footage. There is very little difference from this image to what real life looks like up in the air. I mean, just look at all the ground clutter. Look at the detail. It it just doesn't look computerized. It looks it looks legitimate. And I mean, this is a real island. I think we're flying over Guam. I think this is Guam. Let me check. Uh, yeah, yeah, this should. I think this big island's Guam. I mean, this is just crazy. And uh, there's a little bit of errors, like that little parking lot over there kind of goes up the side of a hill, but still, this is in. If if you were to get other games comparable, comparable to this, comparable, comparable to this. Sorry, I can't speak. The closest one is Arma Three, right? And Arma 3 is a military large-scale sim. It has a lot of stuff going on. It's not just like Microsoft Flight Sim, which just has planes and that's it, you know. It has a lot of other simulations going on at the same time. Closest game we can get from this is Arma 3, which is a game that released back in 2013. The big difference is, in Arma 3, to run decent frames in a multiplayer mode, you're running 3,000 meters of view distance. So anywhere past 3K, which is probably from here to that house down there, is absolutely fog. So all we would see right now is a little dome of land below us, and then we would see just fog out in front of us everywhere. Because that's how Arma 3 renders its stuff. This is, I don't even know, 60 miles of view distance? I mean, we can see the island up there. How far is that? That's an island over across the water. Let's check. Let's get our ruler out and see exactly how far that is. That is 51 nautical miles. 
behind us. Yeah, so 60 miles was a probably good estimate. 61 miles of view distance, and we can still zoom in super fast and get super high detail trees. We can get buildings and cliff sides and rock formations and beaches and sun reflections, goddamn, and rice fields or whatever those are. I don't know what those are. I mean, this is just beautiful. It is crazy how far the tech has come since 2013. Um, I did want to mention in this video as well is that, you know, if this is what we're seeing now, in five years, what'll the next Arma be like? You know, if, if this is the technology that's available and Bohemia is able to push out something anywhere close to this, imagine having these bigger maps with this view distance. Imagine being able to actually snipe long ranges with good frame rate, you know? And then also having planes flying overhead. Planes that can actually effectively give close air support because they don't have a 3K view distance strapped onto their their game so they can't see anything that they're trying to bomb you know I think that will be crazy absolutely crazy now frame rate obviously could use a little bit of work especially I don't even know if my recording is capturing all the frames that I'm getting but uh I'm getting about 35 maybe 30 right now which is definitely playable it's not like I'm ha having to flick on somebody's head so 30 FPS in a flight sim actually is not that bad um I've flown VR in this game probably even lower but what's crazy is that, you know, imagine in five or six years from now when we have Milsim games in the future, just how big of areas we could get and the view distance and the graphic capabilities of those games. Because this is where we are now, you know, and you could do Milsim, you could do, you know, obviously only fighter pilot and helicopters, but you could do ops on this map right now for free. <laughs> but... In the future, you know, if we get ground and tanks and all that together, because in DCS there is there are tanks that you can control in DCS, though they are very, very extremely simple. Um, but they still are tanks that you can control on the ground. DCS is called Digital Combat Simulator. It's not called Digital Flight Simulator or Combat Flight Simulator. It's just called Digital Combat Simulator. And it, I don't know. DCS has been booming recently, I feel. I feel like they've had a lot more revenue recently. Their game has been increasing in popularity quite a bit. I mean, if you look at the Steam charts, it's just smoothly going up. And I honestly wonder if if in less than, you know, five years from now, if, there, if there's even a possibility that DCS would drop a Boots on the Ground update. Like, that would be insane. A Boots on the Ground update and then a live game master sort of update would be absolutely crazy that would change the game of mill sims forever because you would have these super high fidelity planes and then you would have it mixed with people on the ground doing operations i mean if you just if you look at the terrain here this terrain is you you can't tell me that this terrain is not close to the level of fidelity that a usual arma 3 map has i mean it's it's higher in some areas and it's lower than others, mostly lower, but for a map that is this big with this much view distance, it would be very easy in five years for them to squeeze the amount of detail that's needed for infantry combat to be fun, you know? It's just nuts, the amount of detail this map has. Um, so yeah, I, I, was <laughs> I was just wanting to make a video about this because this is absolutely insane. Um, I, I don't want to be the guy that, that makes videos about every single game that has a nice looking map, you know? Because I feel like there's a lot of people out there that once they see a game that has a big world, they're like, why doesn't Arma have this? Which is just such a, ah, it's such a dumb take, man. There's so much more that needs to be done to, to make big maps work in games. Like, like if you, if you think Arma 3 should be the earth sized big you're really really just stupid <laughs> it, it, yeah your, ex your expectations are way too high but if arma 3 if arma 4 was able to get longer range view distances graphics and lighting and clouds like this and maybe not not the full fidelity planes of dcs maybe i wouldn't even want that but maybe just the simplified like the frogfoot or the uh i don't know what else what else is it? the f-15 get planes like that in the game 
and then fly those around in an Arma sort of experience in a combined ops with, with a Zeus as a game master. I want to go check out this little small island over here. It's kind of cute. What is this? What are you? Got screen space reflections as well on the water there. It's got a big dock. It's got like a... Uh, I don't know if that's concrete or if that's sand. I'm not sure. I think that's... Oh, that's sand. Oh, look at the water, though. Jeez, man. <laughs> okay. So, just another another proof of uh, concept here. Look how quickly I can zoom this camera around. So, first off, we can get super far away from our plane. So far that we can barely even see the thing. Let's zoom in. That's how far we are, right? I'll, I'll lock my camera view. Boop. Okay, locked camera view. Look how quickly we can turn around this thing. We're, we're flying past so many objects per second. Like maybe, maybe a million objects per second. <laughs> and the game just does not care. Still running at 30 frames. Still running at 30 frames. Like doesn't care. Doesn't care that we're just zooming past things. This game's tech is nuts. It's absolutely nuts. I am very excited to see where this game <laughs> goes in the future. This is crazy. I don't, I, am I freaking out a little bit too much or is this just nuts? Super high detailed maps, extremely good graphics, and there's actually a game within it too. It's not just a little, it's not just a test. You know, I can, I can shoot my guns, I can lock onto things, I can pop flares, my my flare dispenser isn't on. There's golf courses if you want to go golfing in DCS once you're done being a pilot. You know, I guess, what are we, all, we're all officers, right? All warrant officers? Does it say the name of the guy flying this? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I think it does that on, uh, on F-14 Tomcats, but it doesn't on the F-18s. It doesn't say their name. It just really makes me excited to see like what's in the future for DCS because if we're if we're getting maps that are this high detailed, I I am very sure that within five or so years you could have an update come that drops soldiers on the ground that has a live editor so that you can create ops with a with a sort of Zeus thing like Arma 3. I just think that would be amazing. If this game just made itself a little bit easier to get into little bit of quality of life changes. DCS, they could make some real money off that. This could be the next Arma that just totally snuck up on us, you know? I mean, it basically is an Arma, but for planes. But imagine if Combined Arms was also part of this game. Look at this. <laughs> Whee! So cool. Where's my plane? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I don't need to pull up. What are you talking about? Look at the birds! There's birds! Oh my gosh, the graphics. Mm. This video isn't sponsored. <laughs> it sounds so sponsored. I'm just really impressed by this map. Ooh, what are those things? A little observatory buildings? That's cool. Alright, let's see if we can land. Where's the closest airfield? I want to try to land this thing. Uh... Oh wait, it uh, looks like there's one to our left. I'm gonna yank the stick. Whoop. All right, air break out. Coming in very hot. I'm gonna whip this tail. And do an overhead break, actually. I'm still going too fast. Too close. This is definitely not a textbook landing by any means. Don't don't think I'm a good player of this game. Wow, these are big runways too. A lot bigger than the ones in in Georgia. And because it's an F-18, I'm gonna slam it down. Boom. Easy. Nice little flight. Alrighty guys, that'll be the video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.